Harry Krishna, Harry Krishna, Harry Krishna. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I got a little carried away. This is Dr. Otto von Bismarck, Chief Scientist, Evermont Labs. Today we're going to review the V Pseudo Shaving Ball. This is the V Pseudo Shave Ball. The interior portion of the ball is all polished. The exterior is brushed on the top portion of the ball, so it's brushed from here down to here, and it's polished on the bottom. I would have liked if they would have brushed the entire exterior of the ball because it's a little easier to grip a brushed surface, and uh, brushed surfaces don't scratch as easily as polish polished surfaces. I really like the product branding here. I always think that that's a classy touch and it's always good to know which company made uh, of the product you're using. I have large hands, so my experience with holding this shaving ball may be different from that of others, but I find it very comfortable. Uh, and. Uh, I get a very good grip on it. I either hold it like this or I hold it from the bottom like this and I find it to be very ergonomic. I have two main issues with this product. The first issue is the price. I don't know how they justify a price of $13.99 for a basically a, a hunk of mystery stainless steel. They don't identify in their uh, product description what type of stainless steel they're using. Even if it were, uh, let's say, 316L stainless steel, it wouldn't come close to justifying uh, the, the, the price of this product because it's just outrageous. You know, I, if it'd be one thing if, you know, they were advertising this as also having some sort of uh, tactical use or survival use. So for example, you could uh, put it over your heart in order to stop bullets if someone is shooting at you, uh, you know, or, or maybe, maybe use it as a weapon, throw it at people, I don't know. But uh, as it stands, as a shaving ball, this, uh, I, it's just this, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's just uh, the price of this product is insane. Another issue that I have with this product is that the lather uh, seems to ride up on the brush when you're using this product. And I'm going to demonstrate it, be but before I do that, uh, in fact, I'm going to have a comparison between this and this other product that I just bought. It's half the price. And, um, and, and I'll show you the difference. And it, I'm not sure why it is. It could be that this product has a flat bottom, or it could be that this product has grooves. Uh, there's something about the physics of this which stops the shaving cream from riding up, whereas this doesn't. And I'm, I'll show it to you now. So I'm gonna add about three and a half grams of shaving um, gel. Okay. And I'll add some water, which I will do, which I do when I'm shaving. And I will show you the write-up. Okay, it's already riding up. Now you see. Now let me get a good glob of it and I'll start from the bottom, and you'll see it ride there. See it riding along the edges. It's riding along the top. There. Now what happens is that the the lather gets on the, on your brush, and then it gets on your fingers. And that gets kind of annoying. I'll show you one more time and then I'll and then I'll transfer the contents to the 
other um, there you'll see that all that right up on the edge now you see I will attempt to put the lather towards the center of this ball okay now you should be able to see that it doesn't ride up nearly as much actually there's a little ride up on the side yeah there is some ride up there it is riding but it is not riding in my opinion nearly as much as the one as the um, V Studio ball and we'll go back to this ball I'll attempt to use the same exact position I was using in the other one there. see it just goes immediately just goes right to the edges yeah so that's what I'm talking about and I don't think that this is a very um, easy product to use because of that because it's very messy and kind of annoying <laughs> and I think that I don't know I guess if you were paying five dollars for this ball which is probably about what it's worth because uh, it's not a terribly good ball then I think it would be fine but I don't know how you justify thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents uh, for for a ball that um, you know doesn't really give you a, a very good lather performance.